The journey to the southern Senegalese village of Kuba is long and arduous. Sheltered by mangrove swamps, locals say that no police officer has set foot here since the 1980s. Only in places as remote as this can farmers get away with flaunting Senegal's crackdown on the cultivation of cannabis. In places like this, the production of marijuana thrives. We cut here, keep that part, that's what we use, the whitest seeds. The village's seclusion means that tourism and conventional agriculture are rarely seen as viable industries. So the marijuana plantations have turned out to be a blessing. Thanks to the industry, many growers have built better lives than they otherwise would have. Philippe grew up in the village. Though he now works in one of the region's nearby coastal resorts, cannabis profits funded his education and allowed him to seek opportunities elsewhere. Ever since I was a baby, people have been growing cannabis. That's what our economy is. That's what people use to help send their kids to school. If you're not growing it, you'll never get out. The harvest is carefully packed up to be sold to traffickers who arrive by canoe. It can sell at anywhere between 23 to 45 euros per kilo, a fortune in comparison with legal crops such as onions. But that profit comes with a hefty risk. Growers, sellers and consumers face up to 10 years in prison if caught. The Senegalese government's crackdown on illegal drugs has stepped up in recent years, with more than 3,000 tonnes of marijuana seized in 2015 alone. And in 2018, an agreement was signed with neighbouring country, the Gambia, to tighten up checks on the border. But despite all this, the mayor of the rural commune that Cuba is part of believes that the growers in the village can rest easy for the time being. It's easy for law enforcement to target production here, to get access here. But with the islands, access is very difficult, so illegal crops develop in these hard-to-reach areas. Locals will be hoping that they can hold on to their livelihood. To do so, they will have to continue to fly under the radar, as Senegal is showing no signs of joining Zimbabwe, Lesotho and others in the list of African nations to have legalised cannabis.